Welcome back to another mobile game development tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be doing a little bit more with our camera. This time we're going to be adding a zoom function. So we're going to be using pinch to zoom which uses two fingers and depending on the distance that you move between your two fingers we're going to be calculating the point in between. And we're going to be doing this uh, not by adjusting the camera height or anything, but we're just going to be adjusting the field of view. It's pretty much the easiest way to get the zoom effect without having to move the camera. So by changing the field of view, you can see we zoom in or out. And default, we're just going to set that back to 60. So yeah, we're just going to jump into our code and get started on that. So once again, we're going to be jumping into our main game and we're going to be adding another if statement to calculate this. So you could also set it up in a way that depending on the touch count you can say either we're moving the camera or zooming but in this case we're going to make it so you could do both at the same time if you really wanted to. So we're just going to be adding input dot touch count again and this time our touch count we want to make sure that we have two fingers on the screen, so we're going to set that to two. And that's all we need for that. Now for our code, we want to keep track of two different touch points, so we're going to create two different touches. So we're going to name the first one touch zero, and we're going to equal that to input, and then dot get touch. So we're going to grab the first touch, and then we're going to create a second one, and this is going to be touch one. And we're going to equal that to input dot get touch again, and we'll set that to one. So these are the two touches that we're going to be using, and now we're just going to create two points for those. So we're going to be creating two vector twos, and the first one is going to be touch zero previous position. So we want to keep track of the previous positions for both touches. So we're going to do zero previous position and we're going to equal that to touch zero um, dot position. And then we want to subtract that by touch zero dot delta position. Now we're going to want to do the same exact thing but for touch one. So we can just copy this and paste it and we'll grab, um, let's see, touch one. Yeah, so we just want to do touch one for each one of these. And then the next thing we're going to be doing is calculating the distance between each frame of each uh, position. So we're going to create two floats for this. And the first one is going to be previous touch, delta, mag. And we're going to be equaling that to touch zero previous position. And then we're going to be subtracting it by touch one previous position. And then we're going to be calculating that. just like that. And so we're going to want to create another one for the other one. So we're going to duplicate that again. And this will be for just touch. Touch delta mag. And this will be for touch zero. And touch one. Now the next thing we need to do is, let's see here. Touch one, oh. Some reason. Yeah, touch one dot position. Okay. So now we just wanna calculate the distance between the two. So we wanna create a float and we'll call this delta magnitude diff. And we're going to equal that to touch delta mag. And we want to subtract it from touch delta mag. 
So now that we have this, we can take our camera.main and we want to adjust the field of view because that's what we were talking about earlier that we want to adjust. And we'll plus equals that to delta magnitude difference. And from here, we want to times it by whatever our speed that we want is. So we'll just set this to 0.1f. You can create a variable, another variable for speed if you want, or just use speed. Um, yeah, whatever you want to do with that. And then another thing we could do is also clamp this camera so the, the field of view stays within a range that we want. So we'll just do camera.main again. And we'll do field of view. equals, um, let's see here, at f dot clamp, like we used in the last tutorial to clamp the position, and we want to take camera dot main dot field of view as the input, and then our two will be 15.0f, and we'll say 70.0f. Um, so one quick thing, I ran into an error before I I tried building the code. I don't know why I didn't show me this earlier, but touch zero needs dot position as well. So just update that and then we should be good to go. So now that we're in our game, we can actually put two fingers on the screen and zoom in. But I noticed an issue that now that we have both the touch controls in, while we're zooming in, the camera is both moving and zooming in at the same time. So we'd probably want to make the touch control script for the if statement and else if. So there's only one command that's going on at a time. So either we're zooming or we're moving the camera. So if we have two fingers on the screen, we should stop the pan movement like that and just allow our player to zoom in with the touch controls. So that's the only thing I would add differently. But yeah, it's just a quick fix if you want to change that. And uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.